what is up ADG traders this is munya and welcome back to my trading channel today i'm so excited to share with you guys how to grow a really small account and when we're talking about a small account we're talking about an account which is below a hundred dollars so uh in this video i'm going to teach you guys on how to grow a small account as you can see right here i also have my small account which is we started on with uh 89 dollars and i'm gonna show you guys how i managed to grow it step by step the profits that i took are already i am on 30 dollars in profit uh, if i'm not mistaken and i basically took very simple trades that anyone can uh take today while he's using this strategy so this strategy is a little bit complex because it's the divergent strategy and i'm going to explain deeper what that means okay i'm going to explain deeper what that means but the purpose of this video is for you to understand that it's not about the capital but it's about the skill if you have the correct skill uh you'll be able to make it in trading despite your trading capital okay so uh i also want to show you guys that i also have the patience to trade a small account i don't get discouraged when i'm on a small account i've had no big big accounts that i, I shouldn't even be trading a, a very small account but uh from this small account it's where you learn uh the discipline is where you learn how to uh handle uh your emotions uh it's where you learn the patience because with a small account you really really have to wait uh for entries and you really really have to wait for the market to actually move uh, uh in your favor so if you are uh waiting to make some quick money with a small account you won't be able to do that right but this uh video is there to teach you guys uh how to grow your small account step by step so what you see on my screen is the strategy that i've been working on it's a divergent strategy you'll find out later what that actually means but for those that have been in trading should already know what a divergent strategy uh, uh, uh means okay don't forget to check out our second youtube channel i also post great great content uh, and I've also been teaching and doing some live trades on our second channel. I'll leave the link to the channel in the description uh, box below. Okay, so I'm going to have a step-by-step -step process of installing this strategy, which means that I'm going to remove all these indicators that I have and we will uh, install this strategy together. Okay, uh, this is because we also have new viewers on this channel that may not know our daily routine. Um, and to that i say welcome new viewers make sure you also check out our previous videos and see where we're coming from and where we're going basically this is a platform where i am teaching uh and explaining and sharing you with you guys my trading experiences my strategies things that i have back tested and forward tested uh, so that you guys can really give uh wide knowledge in trading i try and post a video each and every single day so that you guys will always have something to watch okay uh so let's get into the settings the first indicator that we're going to need i'll go to my indicator section the first indicator that we're going to need is uh the alligator okay so i'm going to go to my indicators then look for the alligator which is down here and it is going to have the following properties that you see on my screen so basically there's a jaws period of 10 a teeth period of five a lips period of 10 a jaw shift of eight a teeth shift of 10 a lips shift of five a method is smoothed uh, applied to medium price and then on the styling uh we're going to hear need uh the, you can put any style of your choice any color of your choice but i'm just going to be having this uh, on my side okay and then you can click down as you can see uh the strategy is now starting to form uh what what it looked like at the beginning of the video uh moving on we want to install another indicator but this time it is going to be uh it's not going to go on our main chart actually it's going to go on our indicator window one and that's the stochastic oscillator and this oscillator is going to have the following properties that you see on my screen as a percentage k period of one uh percentage d period of one as well a slowing of one price field of low over high or and then the method is uh simple and then on the levels these are very important we're going to need level 80 
and 90, level 20 and 10, okay? And then make sure that on your style, the main and the signal are not showing on your charts. The main and the signal are not showing on your charts, okay? And then you can click on done and as you can see, you have something like this on your charts at first. Basically, you only have some levels and you have nothing else inside your charts, okay? So the next indicator that you have to install uh, is the MACD. So you go to indicator window one and then you choose MACD. And this MACD is going to have the following properties uh, that you see on my screen. Uh, the first GML of 60, a slow of 26, uh, MACD of 10, and then apply to close. And then of course the styling, I can pick any color of your choice. I, I chose red and green. Okay, and then I can click that and uh, this is the full strategy, guys. This is the full strategy, okay? So now what's left is for us to understand the divergence part. How do you use this strategy, okay? How do you use this strategy? So we're going to use some examples. We're going to use some examples, some nice, nice examples. And you guys will be able to appreciate this strategy. But before we do that, Please make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post videos like this right here on this platform okay uh be it a new video be it a promotion and talking about promotions uh we're currently running a promotion of whereby if you like this video subscribe uh, and comment down below what you've learned i'll add you to my vip signals group for free so if you want to be part of it uh in a to be a part of a group that I share my signals, I share my trades. All you have to do is to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. Okay, it's that simple. Moving on, how do you work with this strategy? Now, it's a very simple strategy, but it uses divergence. So this is what you're going to do. If you want to enter into a buy trade, which I would advise that you try and scalp. If you have a small account, try to scalp it. Scalping is easier if you have a small account, okay? Because already, uh, the market doesn't move if you try to swing trade. You're going to have to wait for ages and you've got a very small lot size. So try and get in and out of the market uh, a lot. Try and acquire as much more, uh, add more balance or add more equity, right? So the profits will just be adding up to your equity and building it up. So that when you have a big account now, you can now play some reasonable swing trades, okay? So, how are you going to trade? Number one, you're going to look for a peak at the top. At the top, right? Whenever you see a peak at the top, that's whenever you see those two humps at level 80 and above, that's a peak. That's your first sign. Now, probably you're all probably wondering, nah, that's probably not the peak. Even if you do price action, you can see you can see that this you can see that right here we had a peak your indicator window one indicated it your price action if you can see the trend line uh it here touches here 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 and here finally right and if you see a peak on your indicator window one that's your first uh buy indicator okay now your entry, you then get it from your main chart. You then come and check if price crosses those lines that you have on your main chart. And if price crosses, the moment it crosses, that's here, that's your entry point. That's your buy trade. So can you see that there's a divergence? From here, from your indicator window one, one would assume that you're going down. No, we're actually going up. We're actually going up as you can see so that's the divergence strategy this is the first part it even works if you want to try uh spike catching but i wouldn't i uh, want that i don't want that in fact i only wait for these easier opportunities can you see another divergence that happened here this is our five minute time frame please notice that our peak we can also see that it was a peak for sure because Price kept bouncing around there. Price crossed and we went all the way up. Can you see the divergence? 
Okay? Even if you go on Crash 300, let's try Crash 300. I was actually watching Crash 300 um, earlier on another account. But what I wanted to, to check was the peaks. I'm actually waiting for a peak, so I can't find one yet. So I'll wait. I'll wait. I thought that it, it, it was now there. Let's talk about uh, Boom 500. Boom 500 is basically the opposite now. You're going to expect a peak at your lower levels there. Anyway, between 20 level to 10 level, that's your first peak. And then you, at the top, right? Even if you used price action, you'd actually see that price from the peak, price crossed to be below our our lines which means our sell entry was confirmed and as you can see price dropped to that level okay same divergence here is a nice entry for divergence again uh, confirmed peak price breaks and then it falls all the way down okay so I want you guys to try and practice it. Don't forget to check our second YouTube channel for more information. And if you want to send your screenshot showing that you have subscribed, you have liked this video, and you have commented down below, uh, make sure you get my number from my Telegram channel. The link is in the description box below. Until next time.